Hello everybody, I'm back with the Philbin files here doing another quick little uh, demonstration on the Steve's Factory Manager. Um, this time I was going to try and make sandwiches but that was turning out to be way too complex. So right now I'm using the system to assist me in making hamburgers. I grab my hamburger here, another one pops up. Yay hamburgers! Um, I'll go ahead and eat this one. Um, I am having some problems with how to interface with the furnace. Um, that's causing problems. But right now, you can see I have the stuff I need to make hamburgers in here, and I can actually turn them into cheeseburgers and bacon cheeseburgers. But right now we're just doing hamburgers, so we're using the skillet, firm tofu, and toast. And what I have done in here is I have some some things going on here. So I haven't named these yet. I'll go ahead and name these. Um, we're getting the the skillet from one of our inventories. We're getting the toast from one of our inventories. We're getting firm tofu. We are move that up a little bit so we can see crafting it into a hamburger and then we're outputting it appropriately and this in this case we have it set to only give us one and have it go to this drying rack um, and that's just so that I can walk up and grab whatever I want now I'm going to move these over because I also have this thing making cheese for me um, as you can see, I have one cheese in here, and so I'm making cheese. So I get the pot, I get, go away, get the salt, get the, the milk. In this case, we're using the soy milk because I don't have cows, at least not yet. Use the crafter to make the cheese, and then we store the cheese in our consumables chest and we're again we're telling it to do just one now what we're going to do is so we have it making cheese we have it making one hamburger but I need to vary what I'm doing here so I intend to do we're going to make a cheeseburger and so we need a trigger need an input and in this case the input is going to be the the middle drying rack. I happen to know it's that one. Um, selecting down, and I'm going to tell it to give me a cheese cheeseburger. I'm going to craft the cheeseburger. Oh wait, we need to we need another input because we need cheese for the cheeseburger. The cheese is in the consumables chest. I select that and we're going to go cheese. Cheese. We're going to get the cheese. And then we're going to craft it together. Do 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 do. Again. A lot of typing. And then the burger. Um, nope. We want your burger. Hamburger to get a cheeseburger excess inventories. We always have to tell it an excess inventory, so we'll just tell it this one. Um, it's not really going to put anything out, but it wants to know where to put things in case something happens. I don't know. Okay, and now the inventories. In this case, we're going to put this in the top drying rack. So I know it's 62, 63, 64. So the top drying rack, target down. I'm not sure the target matters for the drying racks, but down seems to be working for me, and we want cheeseburger, not grilled cheese, cheeseburger. And again, we're going to specify one. So I'll come back later and rename these things because don't need to bore you with those details. But right now, so we know we have one cheese, and we have one cheeseburger. When we connect these up, we should unless the system's going to make me look like a fool, get a cheese burger. No, it 
Yep, see? It's going to make me look like a fool. So what did we do wrong here? We output inventory to there. We whitelisted the cheeseburger. Set it to down. That's always been working, so we'll ignore that. The inputs. The input's not working. Get the cheese. Get the burger, maybe? Oh, it might help if I tell it burger instead of cheeseburger. Now, magically, we have a cheeseburger, we have a hamburger, and we should have one more cheese built up in here. Um, so I can show that off here. Let's see. It's going to make a cheese. It makes it as fast as I can click on it. So now there's two cheeses. I'm going to grab this cheeseburger. Oh, grab this cheese cheeseburger. That one's going to go away. It's going to move up there. I'm going to get another one there. And I still have one cheese. Yay! It worked. So there we go. So we're making burgers, we're making cheeseburgers, and then I'm going to add another drying rack here to make bacon cheeseburgers. Um, don't need to do that in front of you right now. Um, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was informative. Uh, if you have any questions, um, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.